Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to be unboxing some Bachmann HO Scale Thomas & Friends rolling stock. And this particular piece of rolling stock are called Box Van Explosives. And we have two of them. Now these pieces of rolling stock appear in an episode of Thomas & Friends called Thomas in the Fireworks Display. And in this episode, Thomas and James are delivering fireworks to a fair. So we'll unbox these and then we'll take them out on the layout and they'll be hauled by Thomas and James. All right, let's take a look at the packaging and open them up. And you can see here, these are really nicely packaged in this uh, blister packaging, um, as we typically see with these pieces of rolling stock. And you got the Thomas and Friends logo up the front there. And as we turn it around, You'll see there in the lower right hand corner is the sticker with the um, exact item that's in the, that's in the packaging. And then there's a little uh, inventory list of some of the other um, products that uh, they sell or Bachman sells for the Thomas and Friends collection. All right, let's open her up. You can see that the car is put in a little sleeve on the inside of the um, on the inside of the blister packaging there, and it holds the um, the car quite secure in there. Good packaging. As a quick look before we take a detailed look at it. Okay, here are the box van explosives out of the package and on the track. Let's take a detailed look at one of them. Okay, so these box van explosives, they're about uh, four inches long from coupler tip to coupler tip, and they are uh, almost completely uh, plastic in construction except for the metal wheels. Now we've reviewed similar uh, box vans uh, in the past that actually utilize this exact same mold from Bachmann. They um, reuse a lot of the uh, moldings for the different style of cars. Um, so the only thing that really makes this unique from the other box fans that we have uh, reviewed that look like this is the color scheme and then the um, explosive uh, placards that are on the side. So as we begin our look around, starting from the side here, uh, as we said, there are metal wheels in the bottom and the are uh, single axle trucks with some good uh, suspension detail here. We've got some uh, brake and undercarriage mechanics there, which um, is repeated on a lot of, again, the Thomas the Tank Engine Universe um, boxcars and um, open wagons and things like that. Um, they're pretty consistent as far as that detail goes. So we've seen a lot of this uh, before. Uh, we got the hook and loop couplers, black buffers, and the car is basically, except for the black chassis here, the car itself is kind of a two-tone gray. We got a lighter gray on the body here uh, with um, simulated wood planking and lots of bracing and struts. And we've got kind of double doors that um, kind of barn 
sliding doors that slide to the side on each side. Uh, the darker gray is on the roof, of course. That's a little bit darker than the uh, than the the rest of the body. Uh, we got the explosive placards here. It looks like a piece of firework or a piece of dynamite going off. And the red X going across the doors kind of, to me, indicates a little bit more danger there um, since these cars are full of explosives. But good detail. Like, I, like, I really like the, as far as the Bachman uh, Thomas uh, universe uh, cars go, I really like these box vans. They really, they don't have much functioning uh, hardware on them, like these doors don't open or anything like that, but they do have a lot of nice detail molded into the plastic. So um, in that regard, they're, they're very nice pieces of rolling stock. All right, let's give it a turn. Okay, from the back, again, working from the bottom up, we've got the hook and loop coupler. We got a pair of black buffers, a um, little utility hook here, all molded in plastic, you know, with the, with the uh, frame base there. And then we've got the lighter uh, gray shade on the back of the van here. We've got the simulated planking. And then we've got some, you know, vertical uh, bracing and then some kind of diagonal bracing here. And in the corners, what looks like um, some kind of downward facing uh, ventilation uh, ports there. So, and then if we look closely on these corner brackets or corner braces, we can see uh, some rivet and bolt detail. And then also on these vertical uh, bracing pieces here, it's kind of like T bracing where the T um, kind of faces, the top of the T, you know, kind of faces the, um, the end of the car there. You can see little bolt work and bracing there to hold that, uh, hold that brace in, in place. Like I said, not bad detail for these, uh, for these cars for this price point. All right, let's give it a turn. Okay, looking at the opposite side, um, there's, it, this is exactly the same as it is um, on the opposite side. There's nothing um, unique about this side of the, um, of the box van here. Um, now, a second ago I mentioned price point. Um, so we bought these from Train World and the two of them with shipping cost about $73. So um, I would probably say they were about 30 something a piece, probably, um, you know, minus the shipping, um, if you were interested in purchasing these. Amazon's price might be different, but uh, that was Train World. Um, so anyway, yeah. So uh, again, this side of the car, no different than the other side, mirror image. Um, so why don't we give it another turn? And the same story on this end here. This is uh, no different than the opposite end. Um, it's the same, uh, same structures and all that, same detail. Um, so yeah. so um, let's bring it full circle. All right, let's take a look at the top and the bottom. Okay, looking from the top, uh, not a ton to see up here. It's kind of a glossy, kind of darker gray um, than the rest of the body, but um, there's a couple of uh, gutter structures here. Uh, to keep the rain off the person operating the door, uh, molded right into the plastic. That's a kind of a semi-arched roof, as we had mentioned earlier. And then there's some uh, details here um, on the far end of each end of the roof here with some uh, bolt work in there um, and some kind of like roofing, roof structure here, um, kind of capping off each end of the roof. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. Yeah, this is typical to the other uh, two axle wagons and open wagons that we've seen before. We have uh, single axle trucks, metal wheels, hook and loop coupler. We've got the Bachman logo and part number there stamped in the, uh, in the bottom. And uh, you know, some of the detail here like that brake structure and so forth on the sides there. Not a ton to see down there, but uh, just to give you a quick look at the bottom side of that. Okay, there you have it. Two Bachman HO scale Thomas and Friends collection box van explosives. Let's get them out on the layout and have Thomas and James give them a run.